All right, what's up guys? We are back for another ESPN MIC highlight reel. I was actually out this week, guys. I went to California, had a couple days of vacation and just had to see some family and do some personal stuff, but I am back. I look back and this is actually pretty much a quiet week. Uh, Alex actually, believe it or not, took an L this week overall, but we're going to go over that, guys, and see how it was mitigated and kind of like, you know, just it, just in a nutshell, guys, it's like if Alex can have a $350,000 week or a $700,000 a week or a $40,000 a week, when he has a 10000 all the trolls will probably be like, great, he had a negative week, but you have to understand that in this game, you are risking money for a living and you don't win every single trade, and that's what we're going to talk about on Tuesday, but Alex still pulled it through and did a great job. Guys, check this out. If you have any questions or you get any value during this uh, during this video that I kind of do every single week to kind of you know highlight and recap the week, um, I couldn't miss this week, guys, even though I pretty much missed the week. I, I have to come through for you guys, but guys, just text 213-458-5997 and we will answer your questions and you can also book a call, but let's dive in. All right, so we are on Monday, guys. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm only going to show a couple of trades from each day as I just want to make sure that we have time to get through this. So... Like I said, I, I kind of like to make these a highlight every single week. So if we go back to Monday the 13th on Xpon, let's do that for a second. We're on TD Ameritrade right here. That is this day. So we are right. Uh, yes, that's the 13th. Okay, cool. So guys, Xpon on the watch list. This was trappy yesterday afternoon and now a bit trappy this morning. I'm not in love with this short unless we see a death candle in the morning. If this breaks 390 can easily turn into a daily chart breakout, which I do not want to mess with. Nail and bail only, more commentary at the open. That's what Alex was saying. He gets this absolute in the morning, guys. We get this morning drop. We get this kind of death candle purge. And then Alex hits the bounce and covers the wash. It's it's just so beautiful. Like, that's exactly how you should handle that. And then Alex made $1,500 on that, basically saying, look, it's a slower day, so I sized down. Felt like there was a lot of trappy stocks today, so I so I slowed down as well and took a small scalp on XPON, exactly what he said on the watch list, which the members did too. Avoided the hot stocks of the day and looking forward to better action tomorrow. Unfortunately, Alex did have a loss uh, the next day, but we will talk about that. So let's open and see what the members were doing on Monday. Guys, speaking of which, quick reminder, uh, we have a long weekend. So the next Monday, this upcoming Monday, in the next couple days is actually a vacation for everybody from the markets, uh, or a nightmare for you degenerates who are obsessed with it. Uh, Vindy Bo guys, absolutely beautiful on Tesla right there in the morning. Uh, exactly what Alex did on X pond guys. When you have your confirmation, get in scalp, take your money and run. Hooper X on AMC. I love him using the red to green line. Get the rejection, cover the wash. Absolutely beautiful. This is exactly what we teach the community, guys. Not everything is a short. Ryan Con Conley doing exactly what he does. Waiting for that support to hold. Long in it, selling the rip, and wonderful job on a tops long. David doing really good on the longs as well. Saw, drew his lines, held that support, sold the rip, got in again on support, or a little FOMO, but he could have waited down here, but that's, after, th guys, that's that's near picture perfect. So I'm not going to critique at all for a couple cents. That's so well done. Sells the rip again, gets in again, and I didn't see the full chart, but I'm sure he just kept selling the rips until it didn't work. Guys, you never want to be counter trend on the you just you you gotta ride with trend and i know we talk about micro and macro a lot guys but just you don't want to be anti-trend you want to be with trend whether you're a big cap trader or small cap trader it's just the difference is in big caps it's very much on a macro scale and on small caps it's very much tightened in the micro and the macro but guys counter trend traders lose we love following trend at mic all right so we're coming in guys this was a this was a bit of a doozy Negative 17,300 started off my morning really well with LICN and BWV short, but then got greedy and ah, that's always the keyword guys. It's always the keyword, right, Alex? And started trading large caps based on CPI data and gave back profits and more dumb, dumb, dumb trading by me. And I deserve to lose today. Here's the thing, guys. Accountability at MIC. Alex knows exactly what he did wrong. You know, when you make your when you make your money on edge, and then you get a little complacent, or you get a little um, anxious, or you get a little excitable, and then you start dipping into you know big caps just to kind of make more money. Which you know, Alex pretty much just explained right here. This is where we do get into trouble. But he did have a couple really nice small cap trades, and LICN was one of them. So let's pull this up real quick. Go to the watch list. LICN on the 14th, I believe it was. Uh, that is going to be right here. So, 
God, this thing just fell off a cliff, didn't it? Crazy. Um, so on the watch list, Alex was saying, looking for a morning bounce towards VWAP with a plan, guys, to add around six for a nail and bail short. More commentary closer to open, which as you guys know, we create a watch list every single morning. And then Alex curates wonderful, you know, with Bao, the moderators, wonderful live commentary as this is going on. Alex did such a freaking beautiful job about catching this in the open you know again guys you know hitting outer lines um specifically the vwap line absolutely just stunning 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 short covered the wash and i mean here's the thing guys if alex is covering anywhere in here even right here even here you cannot predict that it's going to go down here guys that's th the only guys who catch these are the position players and or the swing traders and or if you are kind of like travers on the long side you're holding five to ten percent for a move like this guys but just because you capture the meat of the move does not mean you should beat yourself or sorry because you didn't capture the whole move and you captured the meat all you're looking for is the meat it's just this ribeye had a lot of fat on it so it's, it's just part of the game, guys. Never beat yourself up for making money, and uh, missed profits is going to happen. Welcome to the game. All right, David, let's see what the members are doing. BWV, awesome, awesome freaking job. He cut this long in the morning. I loved that, and then he realized he changed sentiment and said, you know, I'm going to short this thing, and he did a great job on that. LICN, Pikersville, exactly what I was saying, guys. You can't beat yourself up. Welcome to the game. You're making money, Gil. You'll get the next one, pal. You'll get the next one. You made some money. You paid the commissions. You paid your, uh, <laughs> you got, maybe you got some ECN rebates. Uh, PLTR Long, David, awesome job. Just doing what he does best. When the sentiment is there, he's going to ride it. And when the trend changes, he's going to change. I love that. I love that about this trader. He's getting really good at that. Um, Dan Hudson, BWV short day one, right into those outer lines, guys. Pay yourself. Go to your day job. It, it, it's, it's truly as simple as that. Hooper X doing exactly what Alex was doing on LICN. You know, th it's that VWAP move, guys. We call that the million dollar setup. It's, it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Like, there's not much more to say than that. But yeah, so Alex took a, you know, a little bit of a hit that day. But all right, so we're cruising in. Uh, let me read this for you. Six, uh, let me just pull up 10,000 different windows. Um, all right, so 1.6K gain. Uh, Alex, outside of, you know, trading the big caps, guys, when he was focusing on small caps, which is his niche all week, just freaking crushed it and would have had a really green week. But, you know, sometimes FOMO and greed get the best of us. I, it had, hits me all the time, especially on the dating apps, man. All right, 1.6K, nothing monumental today, but better day than a losing day. Yesterday, I deviated with that $17,000 loss from my process, and I lost. Today, I took what the market gave me and made some money on AI and Sarah. $1,600, bucks, guys. So I have Sarah right here and let me pull this up for you what 15th right yeah yeah Wednesday the 15th so that is gonna be right here that's gonna be the day one of this move and uh, let's take a look so Alex was saying on Sarah this was probably one of just commentary so we'll actually just go to the chart but as you guys can see come the open you know right here Alex is hitting the outer lines basically guys where is he hitting it on where it failed before so this is the key part of trading guys you always want to short a stock into stuff moves into an outer resistance line on where it failed before obviously right here and using the 220 line Alex did exactly that covered the wash and it was it's just I mean guys five minutes you make money and you can move on like it's truly as simple as that sometimes uh, let's see what the members were doing so we come in Hoaxia, I may pronounce that right, <laughs> did a great job on T-N-O-N, outer lines, right in the resistance, cover the wash, go to your day job, man, I'm telling you, may, dual income, baby, supplement. Trade full of scalps, shorted the, shorted the rejection on Tesla, Marvin, uh, D77, wonderful job, great job. Hooper X, I shout this guy out so much, I'm trying not to these days so I can shout other people out, but he's doing so good, and he's just got such good process on these outer lines, and I love this, so... Fussin, pop and drop, great job, guys. Let's bring in Travers for a second. I want to highlight how beautiful this is, guys, because when you win, so what Travers did right here is, is he longed it first, and then he cut it, but he has such good risk management, guys, on PGY, on taking the quick stab and basically just getting out, because here's what happens, guys. Just like on stocks that just keep going after you've covered for a nice short, and then you're like, oh my gosh, you know, I covered from five to three, and now it's at 99 cents. Like, that's going to happen. But here's the thing. If you're long, and you cut it, and you mitigate a very, very big loss by taking a small L, 
that's a win too. So really, really good job, Travers. Uh, Diego right here. I love this on Sarah doing exactly what Alex did. Literally wrapped up, you know, come zombie hour for the most part. I know he held a little bit of a position, probably waiting for lower, but beautiful. You know, you miss this squeeze, you miss zombie hour, you miss these, these, you know, fake outs and reclaims and just all that high maintenance garbage that you really don't want to be stuck in guys it's like risk to reward it's just it's just not really worth it you know i'd like go like go build a company go be with your dog go be with your family go be you know your second job versus just trying to get a scalp midday that you're probably not gonna have a big edge on you know so it's just part of process guys we teach you that um coming in thursday the 16th alex made yesterday $533, another slow day in the market, sizing down and staying patient until things pick up. And you know when things pick up, guys, it's game over for these pump and dumps. Alex is going to just destroy them. So GNS, plain and simple, looking... Oh, here, let me pull it up right here, guys. Hold on one second. Yeah. GNS yesterday. Boom. The 16th. So... Uh, Alex was saying on the watch list, looking for a morning pop, guys, towards 7, 7.20, and 7.50. Uh, lines to scale in short with a 7.85 stop. Alex got exactly what he wanted, literally. Probably just starters versus, you know, um, a nice scale in there. But I can see that he was starting to hammer when he felt this little stuff move happening in the 7.20. I'm sure he got some pretty good, uh, I, I think he got his, he sunk his teeth in it. Not too much because, you know, obviously, guys, the PL with the starters. But as you guys can see, the process rings 100% true. And it's just such a clean trade, whether he makes $5 million on it or $500. He said the lines, he said his plan, it did exactly right that, and he executed beautifully now let's take a look on bond a m a n wonderful job bond outer lines wait for this to top out he hit it you know waited for this you know just parabolic move got in one sentiment change and wrote it down added to a winner and then covered at lows beautiful job Vaughn lifer i love that um what did he do he he took a loss on sarah in the morning and then but thanks to my discipline it is only one day's worth the reason why i wanted to include that guys is this is what risk management is so you have to understand even if you take a loss on something small losses can be okay as long as you followed your plan as long as you're within process but it's when we take these big l's you know that are like two months of gains or, or two weeks of gains that's when you're in trouble if your loss is just one day's of work guys welcome to the game that's the game. So really good job on Vaughn for just, you know, unbelievable risk management. And I love it. I love it. You're not going to win every trade. So when you don't win on the trades that you don't win on, you better have good risk management to mitigate big losses. Guys, Ryan Conley coming in with a PLTR long. Love this. Got in a dip and hold a VWAP sell into yesterday's highs. Yes, selling in a resistance because you know it has a good chance of falling back. That's so well done. Travers, really good job. AMAM -A -M, had a fancy order out, filled a harsher dip than I would have liked, so he cut it immediately, didn't take a big loss, and then on this one, guys, held the support on a strong stock, followed the trend up, followed the sentiment, uh, sold in the rips, and just a wonderful job there for Travers. Just... You guys are you guys are getting it, man. You guys are teaching us these days. We thought we were teaching you. You guys are teaching us, man. Today, Alex made 4K, guys. Another slow day in the markets. Focus today was to short SI and AI on bounces as they topped out yesterday. Got a great short on SI, but covered too early like usual. Market is closed Monday. 4,000 for Alex. Let's pull that up real quick, guys, on SI. What we're going to do... Is you guys can see that right here and uh hold on one second let me pull up the chart all right alex was saying uh right here top is set as well but it would need a major bounce towards 19 1950 20 lines to short alex did what he does best in this opening guys what you get is you get this stuff move into outer lines alex slammed it did a really good job added to a winner, covered the washes, and it, guys, as simple as that, really nice Friday. So really good job, Alex, there. Let's see what the members were doing just to close out the week. And then Tom Kai, Tom, look at this whale. Tom Kai coming in for what looks like a $6,000 day if I add all that up. Plus, really good job, one of our members, GNS for M, <laughs> who, I, who was formerly E. Uh, really good job on writing trend down on GNS, following it down, covering uh, and covering lower. I love it. Great job. UUU for Diego. Guys, what do we say? Where did the stock top out before? 
that's where you want to hit it again until it doesn't work. You want to keep hitting the same line until it doesn't work, and you want to scalp and pay yourself and pay yourself again. Guys, you absolutely wrecked it this week in a great way. You did so good. And I just want to showcase actually a couple more things. So let me close out TD Ameritrade real quick. Check this out, guys. So this is our chat room. This is, well, here, I'll pull up two simultaneously. So this is our website, myinvestingclub.com right here. This is where the video library is. This is where you can book a call with me. But this is our chat room, guys. We work through Slack. So a lot of people ask me, I'll get on the phone with somebody, you know, inquiring about MIC and they'll be like, hey, Tosh, you know, um, what can I expect? You know, what's the platform you guys use? And I say, well, we're a full service chat room, guys. So while we have a website of video libraries and commentary and all that stuff in the videos, this is the live commentary. So in here, this is a Slack platform. This is a platform that we use. And then when somebody asks me about software, guys, it's really the software is your broker. We're not trading your money. We are teaching you professionally how you can trade your money for the rest of your life. So every single week, guys, we have, like I said, exactly what we talk about all the time. So, you know, watch list in the morning, every single day, Alex is curating a wonderful watch list right here, why you have edge, why you don't have edge, how to execute on it. Then we take that to the main trading chat, which is obviously small caps. We have a large cap and options room, which is super fun. We have a swing trading room as well. And just so many ways to, you know, DM the moderators, DM the mentors and to kind of network together and get to the promised land. So it's just such a wonderful, fun community, especially the after hours guys like right here. Let me go to after hours. This is, you know, we're welcoming new members. You can see past boot camps and events. Alex right there looks so freaking happy. He's digging it. Uh, Harry Haas is eating whatever he's eating. If that was in Utah, that was the same trip I got food poisoning. Why didn't anybody else? Uh, welcoming new members, guys. Talk, Alex is out with Joe Kelly, our moderator right now, getting a big old tomahawk. Awesome, awesome job. Uh, it's just fun, guys. It's just fun. Meet your fellow traders. How could you not want to meet your fellow traders? Are you kidding me? Um, let's go to the website real quick, guys main homepage right here get your free training right here one hour free training all you got to do is put in your name and your email guys scroll down verified broker statements if you guys want to see why alex makes you know roughly literally guys like eight million dollars every three years which this is go to the verified broker statements check them out this is like this is not a gimmick community guys we're going to teach you how to be full-fledged traders exactly like alex was taught by bow and now we teach the members every single day every single week every single year for six years um video library guys right here very important a thousand plus videos tons of content why alex likes the first red day why you should deal with fomo you can search anything right here so like how do i deal with fomo um it's kind of like a google search but for mic we have a full roadmap right here of content you know where you should get started where you should progress where you should keep progressing but check this out guys if you scroll down all the way down alex's live trades this is a new trading series where guess what guys alex will literally record his lives trade or I'm sorry, record his trades live, <laughs> tongue twister, backwards, uh, and he's gonna record his screen. What he's gonna do after that is he's gonna send it to the editing bay, our total team to edit this together with music and audio commentary that he does after the fact, but the trade is live, guys. It's just he cannot be talking to his computer while he's trading and sometimes trading a you know seven hundred thousand dollar you know trade guys and and it's just going to really mess up his thinking so he's recording his screen he's executing as usual and then after the fact he is going to add audio commentary we'll edit it together and you guys can see exactly what he was talking about and thinking in the moment that he executed it's so beneficial this is like a game changer and you got to DM me to upgrade to lifetime for access to this it's lifetime exclusive on this one specifically this series if we go right here, guys, you can kind of manage and uh, just kind of see your subscription model at MIC. You know, go to my MIC manage, uh, see the webinar course, see the structure of the website. Um, you know, we have live webinars every single week, things like that. But here's 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 the most important part, guys. If you're not a member, this is the most important part. Text my line at two one three four five eight five nine nine seven or book a call with me. I will literally block out a time on my Google Calendar. We will get on the phone. We will see if MIC is for you, and I will give you full confidence in what separates us from all of the other communities out there, a lot of them being pump and dump communities or communities that don't teach process or mentorship or just, you know, rather gimmick communities, guys, which we're very different from, and I'll tell you why. There's nobody on the internet that is doing as much, and specifically what we're doing within MIC of 
three mentors, 30 plus moderators to help you. You can get on the phone with them. You can literally DM them all day. You have live commentary. You have live webinars. You have one-on-one coaching if you need it. You have weekend mentorings. It's, it's insane, guys. Nobody is doing what we're doing. So I will answer all of your questions to make sure that you know that. And as per usual, let me clean my screen real quick. We are going to keep this tradition alive. Let me bust out the fat calculator. Unfortunately, it's in L week. Uh, where am I going? Where, no, I need applications. Hold on one sec, guys. Where's applications? There we are. Oh, it's an L week, but here's what we're going to do, guys. All right, so I'll just I'll just do the loss first, and then we'll count it as negative. So uh, 17,300 minus 1,500 minus uh, 1,600 minus 500 minus 4,000. So guys, Alex lost just shy of $10,000 this week, but let me tell you, he knows exactly why he lost. He's not he's not in the ethers, you know, grasping for air. He knows exactly what he did wrong. He told the members, and here's the thing, guys. This is a this is a trader who's up literally, guys, like nearly a million dollars on the year. So you have to take that in consideration. I think, you know, nine the high 900s for the year. So if he has a $10,000 miss week, which is very rare, you know, he knows exactly why he knows what to do next week. He knows what to do going forward, lick your wounds and move on. Keep And for Alex guys, you have to understand is, is this is a very small loss. So I want to keep this video short, but I did want to rant on that for a second is you got to keep your losers small guys and wins and losses are subjective as per individual trader, as per account size. And you know that, and this is literally nothing this is this is a pebble in the road for alex a grain of sand so i'm proud of alex for keeping it all together coming back today strong with that four thousand dollar win and negative nine thousand seven hundred for the week not a problem he's going to crush it next week and i will see you guys next week for a another espn mic highlight reel see you guys